up YouTube? Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to embed your Airtable forms or your Airtable views in your website or wherever you want to embed your code. So if you have been gaining value from these, go ahead and click the subscribe button, hit the like button. I am posting three times a week, all like these Airtable tutorials, how you can get started with workflow automation, marketing automation, and just general database development. So if you are interested, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll get right into the video now. So to get started, you'll be in your Airtable base, and on, as you can see on the screen here, we have this Airtable base, and we have a, a grid view and a form view that I'll show you. So to get started, we'll start off with the grid view, and they're both similar in that you come up here and you click share view, and then if you don't have share view on already, you'll click create a shareable grid view link. You'll click that, and then you'll click embed this view on your site. Once you get to this page, you have a few options on here. You'll probably just go ahead and copy this, but there are two things here that you want to keep in mind. So the first is you can use a card layout on the desktop. And if you haven't used the card layout, it's similar to the gallery view. So if I click gallery view, then you'll be able to see these three cards right here. And this is what it will look like on the website if you toggle that on. So if you want cards on the website, go ahead and toggle that on. If you don't, just leave it as is. Also, if you want these, like the filter, the group, the sort, the hide fields, etc., to be available on your website, go ahead and toggle this on. If you don't want those to be on the website and you just want this bare bones website, like just, just however you have it filtered in your view, then you'll want to toggle that back off. So to do that, you just toggle that off and then you come over here and copy this. Another issue that some people run into is that their embed code doesn't allow enough length for, that they would like compared to like their web page. So to solve that issue, if you copy what you have over here, so your embed code, paste it in just like a Word doc, you can come in here and edit some parts of your code, which is very easy. The only thing you'll need to ed edit to make your code longer is you'll just come in here where it says height equals 533. That's the amount of like pixels in the, in the code. That's like how tall it'll be basically. So if you just kind of look at how big yours is and if you guess like what percent of that would be better. So if it's, if like we need double the amount of like height on ours, we'll just change this to like 1060. And then that'll be twice as long. So that's how you do that. And if you make sure you pick the right settings over here, whether you want cards or whether you don't want people to be able to filter and sort on your website, make sure you toggle those on or off. Now we will go to the form tutorial. So I'll go ahead and delete this. So to once you're on the form, once you've created your form and you have it, all the questions that you'd like and everything like that, you'll come up here and you'll click share form. Once you click share form, you'll come down here and you'll click embed this form on your site. And you can see there's only one option here. But what you wanna do is you just wanna copy and paste this into whatever custom HTML or website like widget you can paste it into on the back end of your website. And another thing to note about this is you can check here to auto size the height. Obviously forms are gonna vary a lot based on how many questions you have, whether you have a logo, a, a banner, or you have the Airtable branding and the submit button and everything like that. So Airtable is not gonna know exactly what height you should have. But if you toggle this on, you should have a custom height in here based, like once you paste it into your code, that will automatically size the height the way that it should be so that there's no scrolling involved. If you toggle that off, say so that's it's still not working, what I just went over in like a minute ago, I would suggest doing here. So if you're still having to scroll even once you click auto size height, I would copy that, paste it here, and then just come in here and change this to like 1060 or something like that. Change it to something significantly more than 533 and if there's a lot of white space, I would say bring it down in like 
by in increments of like 50. So if 1060 was enough, we'll try 1010 and so on and so forth. So I hope this was very useful. Once you get this embed code, you just copy this and you paste it in your website, like on whatever widget or whatever little object that you can place in there where it says custom HTML, then you'll come in and copy and paste this. I hope this was useful. If you're finding value in these, go ahead and click subscribe and hit the like button and keep watching for more Airtable tutorials.